Hello my soccer universe! Another unpacking video. This shirt though is a decoy, as is the background, but it tells you kind of the region. We have this nice package right here. It is small, it is nice, it is a replacement shirt, jersey. If you remember I sold off a few of my fakes and this is another that I could replace and actually one that I did not expect to find that quickly and especially that cheap. I paid 15 euros for this one here and I would say I will open up this shirt. Do you know? This is a Hot Wheels box. Okay, one Hot Wheels. Uh, it is a used shirt. It is an old shirt. I think it is meanwhile 20 years old. It's a shirt that I've really been, uh, you know, ever since I felt bad that I actually gave the fake away and I'll tell you why in just a sec. So let's see. <laughs> Here it is, right out of the box. You see the color is already green. I'm just checking a few things. This seems heavy material. It has a few pulls. It's a long sleeve. And I think I will like this very, very much. No, I'm gonna maybe wear this all that often. It's also from a league where I, it's not my favorite team from that league, definitely, because from my favorite team from that league, I already have two shirts, but let's pull it out. It's the Panathinaikos 2000-2001 home shirt. Same design as the France home shirt. Um, and I got it in long sleeve from a private seller who I'm pretty sure is a Rapid fan, uh, which maybe makes this a little bit bittersweet. But in any case, why did I want to have that? <laughs> really nice with the sleeve cuffs. I, I have to say that the shirt is really nice. The shirt is, re is, is really nice. And like typically Adidas had the Panathinaikos in there. Uh, and this is actually really well made. I really like it. So what's the reason why I have a Panathinaikos shirt? Well, uh, first things first. When I started watching football, I think it was all, always two teams from Greece that were playing in the Champions League. It was Ike and it was Panathinaikos. And Panathinaikos had this amazing run, I think in 96, where they even made it to the Samus and then even almost beat Ajax and then were kind of continuously in there. So, and I have been to the city of Athens in 94. We did a little Greece, Greek tour. And the only thing I got from there was a Milan flag and a Milan scarf. Uh, the Milan scarf is, I think, the one that's hanging all the way up there. And the Milan flag I still have to figure out because it's huge, humongous. In any case, um, so there was always a little bit there, but then we figured out over the years that, you know, black and white teams is what we want to support. Black and white is Pauk. And so uh, I kind of decided relatively early on on Pauk. Um, but then... My father had business in Athens and when he came back, he knew that his boys are crazy soccer fans. And he came back with three shirts and three scarves from three teams from the Athens area, which is Aik, Olympiakos and Panathinaikos. Um, and for once, I'm the oldest one among my brothers. Um, I let the others go first and I let my brother Florian go first and he chose, of course, Ike. And to be honest, if I had free choice, I probably would have chosen Ike as well. Um, and then Wolfgang, I let him actually go first for, for us as well because I knew he's not going to choose the green and white team because we hate Rapid. Uh, little did I know actually at the point that Rapid and Panathinaikos have a kind of a fan friendship, but you know, whatever. Because uh, I was actually looking, well, if I can get Ike, I actually wouldn't mind having Panathinaikos. So I got this one as a fake. And now when I gave it away, this kind of um, undid a little bit the um, goodwill. That my, I know my father doesn't probably care anymore, but for me it was important that I still have one of these and now I have an original one in long sleeve. I also have the scarf here which I find uh, is very interesting <laughs> in a special way because now that I know the Greek alphabet inside and out, yes I've studied statistics and there's a lot of math, a lot of Greek letters, I can read anything Greek you throw at me I can read. I may not understand it but I can read it. So he gave me this scarf here uh, that was also in the package so I still have this one. 
but this is the Panathinaikos logo, but does it say Panathinaikos? No. It says something completely different. Panauki, Panathinaikos, or something like that. Uh, same thing here, it doesn't even say Panathinaikos. And I realized this uh, recently, so um, I don't know why this is. Maybe some of you Greek fans out there can enlighten me for sure. But I have to say, despite being a Park fan, and I know those are mortal enemies, I always said the only other shirt that I want to have is, is actually this particular Panathinaikos shirt, because there's the nice uh, connection there. Also, interestingly, uh, Panathinaikos have the same founding year as Lusk, which is a positive, but so do Inter, which is a negative for me. But you know, uh, little things uh, there. I have to say that this is a long sleeve. I mean, I knew it was uh, it was long, but this uh, such an old shirt as a long sleeve. I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with this. This is a great shirt overall. I love the late 2000s. I uh, know the late uh, 90s, early 2000s Adidas uh, shirts. There is something special about them. They are more sturdy. They are well done. And I know that this shirt will go very soon in the wash as well. As I said, it has a few pulls here, but that is something very, very, very minor. Quite happy with that one. Quite pleased. And as I said, I never imagined that I will get this shirt actually replaced. And the story goes, I sold sold it off and then I looked at my um, second hand and there it, was, there it was already. And I said, yeah, I'm not going to buy it right now. And then, you know, the listings stay on there for six weeks and I got warned and I said, nah, nah, nah. And then he said, you can only pick, pick it up. Uh, so I let it slide once. And now, then it didn't appear for a while because most of the time to leave, the listings get uh, renewed very quickly. But, so, but this one didn't get very uh, quickly renewed. And I was already um, a little bit wary. Did I miss this one? And then it came again. And then I said, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. I contacted the seller and uh, he even was willing to send it to me so I didn't have to go near Vienna to get it, uh, which is also a plus. So again, let me know what you think about this shirt. It may not be your classic Panathinaikos shirt, but for me it holds a kind of a special place because this was probably the shirt that my father meant for us, for me to get, but he bought only, he found only fakes and didn't really know about it so i have now the original and for that i'm quite happy and pleased let me know what you think about this shirt uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel uh if you want to see more videos like this and i will talk to you soon bye i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.